Mosier and Myers are back to return as Calumetta State wears the white uniforms and the gold pants. Davis puts the right foot to it, and the 119th season of college football for the Buffalo is underway. About five yards deep, Myers makes the grab for the Rams, and it's a touchback with the wind at the back of the kick by Jamison Davis, and the Rams take over first down to 10 from their own 20-yard line to start this game. Davis and Goodman uh, battled during the spring, but Goodman has won the field goal battle now. Bear in mind the rule change. That clock is already running. It, it, uh, as soon as the play ends, the 40-second clock will start, and it won't. It, the old 25-second clock is out, and there are a couple of exceptions to that, and we'll talk about them as the game goes on. All right, Ferris is out there, quarterback, the senior out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He is under center. Running backs are split. Gartrell Johnson is to the left in that pro set formation. Ferris turns, hands off to Bell, left side. He's got room running across the 20, out to the 23. And he has Aaron Hall down after a short gain of three, almost four yards. Ryan Walters coming up from his free safety position to make the stop for Colorado. Well, right now it appears that uh, Fairchild is going to rotate those backs play by play. It was uh, Kyle Bell in AR in that play, and I thought I saw him go out. He is out of He's there. out, and Gartrell Johnson is in. Yeah, Johnson, they were split last time. This time, the fullback shifts to the right, so a single back set on second down at seven. Now the fullback, Paunga, sets up in front of Johnson. Ferris to throw, looks to his left, delivers out there. Catch is made by Greer out across the 35 at the 38-yard line. That's a first down pickup and a gain of 14 yards. Gardner McKay is there in the coverage. Rashawn Greer, the junior out of North Las Vegas, Nevada, at one wide receiver. Deion Morton on the other. There's not a lot of experience returning for the Rams in that position. They lost Johnny Walker and the other Morton, the older of the two Morton brothers. And so a very young group out there at wide receiver. They think they have some talent. Steve Fairchild said that was a weakness in spring, but he thought it became a strength as fall camp wore on. First down at 10 for the 39. Rams marching from left to right, ball left, hash mark, Ferris this time out of the shotgun. He's got one, back that's Johnson to his left. Waist high snap, delivers right side, throws it behind of the slack to the right side to Deion Morton, incomplete there in the coverage. Ryan Walters once again for the Buffaloes. I've been keeping my eye on Corey Sperry, and he's been pretty much hanging around the line of scrimmage, so uh, Colorado's got their eye on him. You can be sure about that. Billy Ferris, he has played in all of nine games for the fifth-year senior out of Baton Rouge. Played at Woodlawn High School, which is about uh, 10 minutes from the LSU campus. He's only got 39 passing attempts coming into this game in his career. Second down and 10 for the 39. Under center this time, backs in the offset eye. The tail of the tandem there is Johnson. He gets the call off the left side. Good job defensively. Has come charging in. It's Jeff Smart. Got around the ankles. Shoved the blocker at about the 37-yard line. And Johnson stumbles forward for no gain. Maybe, in fact, the loss of a yard on the play. Great job by Jeff Smart, the middle linebacker for the Buffaloes. And, Jim, that's a spot they really need Smart to play well. It's been manned for four years by Jordan Dizon, but he's now playing with the Detroit Lions. Yeah, and I tell you what, Jeff Smart, what a story. And I think he'll handle it. This is a situation. Colorado's defense once they got him third and about 12 yards to go that'll put pressure on the young quarterback Ferris split backs Ferris is out of the shotgun once again he's got a slot to the right ball up hash mark the senior calls for the ball takes it waist high retreats inside the 30 rifles it downfield and it is tipped away tipped away downfield at about the 40 yard line beautiful job by Ryan Walters that pass intended for Rashawn Greer and that brings up fourth down and long and the Rams will have to punt on their first possession. Uh, Gardner McKay was there as well. Walters came over to help help out. Uh, McKay had it all the way. So uh, a test on these cornerbacks. If Colorado has a question mark, that's what it is. And uh, so far, so good. Lightning in a bottle. Josh Smith is back to return now for the Buffaloes. Anthony Hart's out to punt this one away. His first 1A punt. The junior college transfer stands at the 24-yard line off to our left. Smith at the 21 off to our right. Good snap. Puts the right foot to it. High end of our end. Smith drifting back. Takes it to 17. Dances. Then makes one man miss. Second man miss. Ball pops loose. It's up in the air. Picked up by Gardner McKay. Runs to his right. Hit inside the four-yard line and hauled down. So the Buffs got it back, but they end up losing as he took it at the 17. 13 yards in that play. He eventually was brought down by Mike Myers. So near disaster for Colorado. Gardner McKay picked it up. He was hauled down at the four. Causing the fumble was John Clark, the backup linebacker for the Rams. Hello, an alert play by uh, McKay. I don't know exactly. I don't know if someone got a hand in it. Clark got a hand on it. I, or a I really honestly didn't see that, but uh, it popped up in, popped the, air, up in the air. 
Gardner McKay, in fact, now we're being told that Clark actually got a head on it, his helmet. First down to 10 for the four-yard line. Maurice Cantrell, the fullback, shifts from left to right. Hawkins center, center. Buffs have 96 yards to go. Hand off to the tailback, Sumler. He gets it back to the four, and he's all down there. And the tackle made by Ricky Brewer, the will linebacker, the sophomore from here in Denver at Mullen High School. Yeah, he's got a couple of former Mullen teammates over on the other side, too. Brewer said this week, I grew up watching the Rocky Mountain Showdown. I'm destined to play in this game. And he makes the first tackle for the Rams. On the team last year, it didn't play, but then he started later. Second down and nine. Hawkins in the end zone to throw under pressure. Throws it down the right side. It is incomplete. A for Josh Smith down there on coverage was Nick Oppenair. From Littleton, the junior college transfer from the University of Mary. Incomplete pass. Good pressure applied by Michael Sisson, the strong side linebacker. As Hawkins was in the end zone, had a man in his midsection as he delivered that football. Last year, Cody Hawkins on his first possession took him right down to field for a touchdown. Uh, the start this year is not quite as good. Third down and a long nine now from the five yard line. This time Hawkins out of the shotgun. He's got a slot to the left. We had a whistle now as some debris blew out of the field. So they allowed someone to come in off the sideline and take that away. Bucks marching from right to left, ball right hash mark. Again, third down at about nine and a half. From in between the four and five yard line, Daniel Sanders set to snap it out of the shotgun to Hawkins, swings it on the near side, catches made by Scott McNutt at the three. He dances. He's met at the five and a hole down right there. A beautiful job defensively by the Rams. Mike Pegnata, the uh, senior safety out of Cape Junction, Oregon, makes a stop, a gain of a yard. That brings up fourth down at about eight and a half now. The Buffs will have to punt this one. And Matt Delala, one of the few experienced kickers in this game, comes out, and he'll have a pretty good win. Although I look at the flags now, it's actually shifted, become rather still here. So not much of a win for Delala as he kicks this one out of his own end zone. Colorado State last year defensively gave up 415 yards per game. Larry Kerr is back as a defensive coordinator. And time here's out, a timeout. Colorado State. First timeout of the half. All right, Colorado State calls Media a timeout time to talk this one over. We'll take the break as well. 11.42 to play in this opening quarter. Okay, back to Invesco Field. Uh, not a very good start offensively for the Buffaloes. And uh, Matt Delala will be kicking from the end zone. He's got a little room back there. And Matt, of course, uh, is a veteran. Last year, he uh, averaged about 40 yards per punt on 61 punts and averaged in scrimmages on 10 punts 42 yards this season. We uh, went out talking about the CSU defense and I think Larry Kerr uh, will truly make a difference. They were sort of embarrassed about giving up as many yards as they did a year ago. So Colorado still uh, getting ready for this punt and Mark it might have worked a little bit in their favor as uh, you had said the wind seemed to change directions and it's calmed down a little bit now. Yeah, it calmed down considerably, in fact. And now we've got a number of shiftings coming out of the timeout. I want to bring Charles Johnson. Of course, the DNC was here on Thursday. CG, the field was so much of a conversation leading up to this ball game. How does it look down there today? I think the field is in great shape, Mark. As you know, there are a couple of spots, particularly the spot in which the ball will be held on extra points where there's a little divot in the, in the side. But other than that, not a big uh, issue at all. All right, Charles, our saddle report brought to you by Silta Har Motors. So Delalo about nine yards deep in the end zone after a right to kick this one away to Deion Morton. Wind has picked up. He's got a bit of wind at his back now. It's blowing from south to north. Delalo waits. Harris is snapped by Justin Drescher. Puts the left foot to it. Not a high punt. More of a boomerang punt. Comes down to the 40. Takes a CU bounce across the 45. Out to the 47-yard line. It's down by Drescher around the 47 or 48-yard line. So it ends up being a punt of 41 yards. And the Colorado State will take over at midfield. We've got a scoreless ball game, 11.30 to play in this opening quarter. It's a Quest Rocky Mountain showdown. Buffs and Rams, CSU with the ball when we come back in the Colorado Football Network. Morton goes wide to the far side, tight trips to the right side. Ferris sets up under center. Kyle Bell is the lone setback on first down at 10 for the 47 scoreless ball game. Now multiple ship. Let's keep an eye on Sperry. He goes tight to the left side. Harris under center, turns, hands off the bell, stop and go at a huge game last year. This time he bulls his way forward from the 47 down to about the 45 for a pickup of about two and a half or so. The tackle by Brandon Nicholas. Now let's go down to Charles Johnson once again and get a comment about all that the play on the offensive and defensive fronts. 
Yeah, Mark, I honestly think that this game is going to come down to Colorado's defensive front, as you mentioned. Colorado State's offensive line is probably the most cohesive unit on their team. I think the trenches, the battle of the trenches, will determine the outcome of this game. Watch it over the course of the game, guys. All right, Silta Har Motors brings us a sideline report. Second down, about seven and a half from the 45-yard line. Rams marching from left to right. Ball dead center of the field. Fullback shifts from tight left to the full position. Ferris retreats under pressure, has time, dump off right side of the fullback, Paunga. He charges his way forward and gets spun down inside the 40 at the 35-yard line, just shy of the 35, a gain of nine yards in a play. George Hippolyte eventually makes the tackle, and that's a first down for Colorado State at the Buffalo 35-yard line with 10.40 to play in this opening quarter in this scoreless ballgame. I tell you what, Ferris had time to barbecue a hot dog back there. He had no, nobody getting anywhere near him. And talking about that uh, offensive line, indeed, all the way across the front for the Rams, they have experience. Uh, Letterman, Tim Walter, Adrian Martinez, Cole Pemberton, all two-year Letterman, and Shelly Smith and Mark Starr uh, both have one letter. So that is a strength of this team. Yeah, 10 of 11 offensive linemen back from a year ago. First down and 10 for the Buffalo 35-yard line. Slot left formation in a slot. It's Morton. Tight end Sperry in the right now. He shifts to the left. Bell the lone setback. Ferris under center for the Rams. Long cadence. Sperry moves again. Ferris to throw right side. A little screen. A catch is made. Running his way forward is John Mosier. Back up tailback. He had lined up split wide right. A gain of one yard on the little screen for the right-hand side. Jeff Smart, the middle linebacker, is there on the stop. That brings up second down and a long eight now for Colorado State. When Colorado goes into their uh, nickel, uh, they have Jaleel Brown, who will play that nickel back. He did that a year ago, and he's also in the mix at corner. But Chappelle Brown and Gardner McKay start at the corner, and uh, Jaleel is the nickel. Second down and eight from the above 33-yard line. Ryan Gardner goes wide to the left. In fact, it's a four-wide receiver set. Ferris this time out of the shotgun flank to his right by Bell. Chest high snap. The senior retreats. Here's a flag and a stoppage of play. We had movement up front by CSU. The snap. Ball start. 53 offense. Five-yard penalty. Second down. That's Cole Pemberton, the junior from a Highlands Ranch, 6'7", 322 pounds, playing the strong side tackle. And the penalty, first one of the ball game. And they march him back five yards. That makes it second down at 13 from the 38 now. Colorado football brought to you in part by High Country Wire and Telephone for all your business telephone and internet needs. So second down at 13 from the 38 in bus territory. 9-13 to play scoreless here opening quarter of the showdown. Ferris this time under center. Bell the lone setback. Slot left formation. Ball right hash mark. Hand off the bell. Big fella right side. He's met at the 40 yard line by Brad Jones. And the senior hauls down the big fella. Ends up being a loss of a yard. Outstanding play by Jones. He read it beautifully. Came stunting up the defensive left side and made the stop for Colorado. Well, let's see what uh, Coach Fairchild decides here. You're going to let the freshman kick. Uh, oh, it's third down. I'm sorry. Third lost down. It down here. That's all right. Third down at about 15. He'd have a bit of a wind in his face should that situation remain. Sperry goes slot left this time at a four wide receiver set. Ferris out of the shotgun at third down at 15. Last year, Colorado State 42% on third down conversions. Ferris a snap, waist high, back pedals, has time, pressure from behind, throws the screen left side of the bell, catch of the 40, hit at the 35, and he is cut down right there. Nice job defensively for the Buffaloes as Jeff Smart comes charging forward along with Chappelle Brown, the cornerback, to make the stop a gain of six yards. Now it brings up fourth down at about nine yards to go for Colorado State from the Buffalo 33-yard line. Well, what I'm seeing here is he's going to go for it. Now you've got Ferris staying out there with the offense. 7.57 to play opening quarter. Scoreless ball game. Steve Fairchild's going to set out the offense here on fourth down and eight, we'll call it. Long eight. Crowd to its feet defensively for the Buffs. Offensively for the Rams. Ferris out of the shotgun. Split backs ball inside the left hash mark. Ferris calls for the ball. Takes a chest high. Back pedals. Has time. Swings it off right side. Catches made by Bell at the 35. He's corralled. Run to the near sideline. And out of bounds at the 31-yard line by Ryan Walters. And it's a turnover on downs. A gain of five yards. That brings up fourth down and about five or so to go. Time on the field. Buffaloes take over from their own 33-yard line with 7.33 to play in quarter number one. Score this ball game here at Invesco Field at Mile High. We're back in a moment on the Colorado Football Network. 
Butts now first down at 10 for their own 32. Josh Smith in motion. Hand off to the tailback. Sumner stutter step. Dives forward as he takes it from the 32 out to about the 34 for a gain of a couple of yards. Second down and eight. Back down to C.J. and Danny Graham. Daniel, you said the other day we were having a conversation. You said this year you really anticipate something special. The national media is not focused on the Broncos. Tell me exactly how and the fans out there exactly how what you think the Broncos are going to do this year. You know, I think our team is going to do real good this year. You know, we got a lot of good guys and, you know, a lot of good talent. You know, we're playing as a team this year. and We're looking forward to, you know, to start the season off. Back up to you, Mark. All right, second down tonight. Good to talk to Danny Graham. Shotgun snap to Cody Hawkins. Here comes pressure. Throws a screen left side. Some of the catch at the 35, running 37, 40, 45 yard line. Out to the 50 yard line. Penetrates inside Ram territory and eventually held down by Brewer inside the 45. Down at the 43 yard line again on the screen pass to the left side to Demetrius Sumler. A pickup of 22 yards. First down, Colorado. The first time the Buffaloes have been inside Ram territory here this evening. Boy, and a, and a big play by Cody. Cody really had pressure on him. The play is being reviewed. I don't know what it's being reviewed for, but we'll find out. But anyway, Jeff Hornick was really in there on Cody, and Cody was able to get rid of that ball, lofted that screen pass out, and Demetrius Sumler was able to run it all the way down to the 43-yard line. I don't know what, what the review is. What uh, I'm trying to think what they might be reviewing in that circumstance. If uh, offensive lineman downfield, maybe? That's the only on thing the I screen. can think of. On the That's the one pass. thing I can think of. That might be the case, in fact, as uh, the Buffs sent three linemen out to the left-hand side. So maybe that's what they're reviewing on the catch. But you're right, Cody Hawkins had a couple of men right in his face, waited long enough for the screen to set. Once again, John Bible is our referee here this afternoon. He's a local guy. This is a Big 12 officiating crew. We've got 6.49 to play in this opening quarter, scoreless ball game here in Invesco Field a mile high. If, that, if they're reviewing that, that's the first time I've seen something like that reviewed. We'll have to see what they say here. And I get this review comes from upstairs here at Invesco yeah, Field. Every play is reviewed. Yeah. Here it, comes John Bible now. He's taking it off. There was an equipment malfunction. The play is not under review. Okay. All right. Somebody forgot to change the batteries apparently. Or something or got a uh, you know, quick trigger finger. He, he, so. he got shocked from something else. Yes, well, that might, you never know. <laughs> so the 22-yard gain stands. So that's, the way, that's the way that works. You yeah, press a button up there and it buzzes the referee. First down and 10 now for the Ram 43 yard line. Ball left hash mark moving from right to left. Hawkins out of the shotgun flanked either side by a running back. Now he sets Cantrell the fullback to the right in motion. Snap to Hawkins. Play action. Sets to throw. And now we've got a whistle and a stoppage of play. And I think Demetrius Sumler moved too quickly. Before the snap, false start, 66 offense. No, oh, they called it. Penalty. First down. They call it on Blake Barons, the right guard, the redshirt freshman out of Phoenix, Arizona. Sumler, I think, left early as well. I think he takes a step towards the quarterback, and his step actually went forward by Sumler. So either way, a penalty on the Buffaloes, a loss of five yards. That makes it first down and 15 now for the Ram 48-yard line. You mentioned redshirt freshman. You got uh, two sophomores at tackles, a junior and a senior. Shotgun snap to Hawkins, gives on the end around to Scotty. Now the double reverse to Josh Smith. He eludes one man running off the left side across the 50 down to 45. Side steps a couple. He is grabbed in and finally collar tackled and brought down at the 40 yard line. So they get the five and then four more. That's a nine yard pickup before Michael Sisson is here to bring him down from his Sam linebacker position. Remember, Josh Smith started the game last year with a 24 yard reverse. This time the double reverse and a gain of nine yards brings up second down and seven. Colorado stays with a no huddle. Uh, that is a staple. It's not exactly hurry up, but it's no huddle. Second down and seven now for the Rams 40 yard line ball up hash mark. Got a running back either side of Hawkins out of the shotgun. The red shirt sophomore now changing the play. He's got nine seconds remaining on the play clock. Down to five, down to four. Now they're set. Shotgun snap with three. Inside hand up to Summer. Has a big hole right side. Runs inside the 40 all the way down to the 35. Close to the first down marker. He's shy by about a yard or so. A gain of five yards. Zach Donaldson is uh, there from the safety position to come up and make the stop for Colorado State. You see the three quarterbacks, the reserve quarterbacks, are on the sideline. And they're going through more gyrations than you can imagine. And when Cody called off the play, they had yelled out there and they changed the play from the sideline. Third down at two now for the 35 yard line. Running back either side and now a flag. And I don't know if moving up front. Ball start, 72 offense. Five yard penalty, 
third down. That's the former Eagle scout, Devin Head, the junior out of Corona, California. And so it goes from third down and two, Larry, to third down and seven for Colorado. Yeah, well, that offensive line's uh, that's the first game. You know, you don't have exhibition games, and uh, I guess they're just a little over anxious out there. So third down and it should be third down at seven. I've got third and nine on the clock. Third down and seven from inside the 42. Hawkins out of the shotgun, takes a snap, back pedals. The sophomore sets, looks left, looks right, dumps over the middle to Sumler, makes the catch at the 38 yard line. That was the safety foul pass. Jeff Horenic is there to bring him down, and that brings up fourth down. A gain of two yards. He was about five yards shy of the first down marker. That's the last option for Cody Hawkins. Good coverage downfield by Colorado State, causing uh, that short pass by Hawkins. Well, Colorado will punt it and try to uh, get some field position out of this with Delalo, who uh, a year ago put 22 punts dead inside the 20. Back is Deion Morton. He did not have a punt return a year ago. He had 17 kickoff returns on fourth down and five from midfield. Waist high snap. Delalo high in the air. He lofts it. End of Iran. It drops inside the 10 and then checks up and rolls back across the 10 out to about the 13 yard line. Let's go down to the sidelines for a Siltahar Motors sideline report with Charles Johnson. Hey, Mark, I tell you, one thing that Colorado has to be careful of with all the audibles at the line of scrimmage. Offensive linemen are always moving to change their blocking schemes. There's a subtle difference between a, a, a you know, what would be considered a legal procedure and just trying to get exactly what the play is. I think we've seen that so far in this game. All right, Charles, 25 yard punt by Delalo. Good one as he uh, drops that one inside the 10, make it the 13 yard line inside the 15 as it checked up. So the Rams take over first down and 10 for the 13 with 407 to play in this opening quarter of a scoreless ball game. Been a good one so far defensively speaking. Paris is out there. Two tight end formation. Gartrell Johnson alone setback. Now tight end left shifts in motion to full. Give to Johnson up the right side. Has a hole running across the 20. 25 yard line. Defender jumps on his back. And Johnson, the big locomotive, rushes his way out to the 31 yard line. Gain of 18 yards before Chappelle Brown after a free ride was brought down at the 31 yard line for the Rams. Well, he had a big hole right there in the middle. Good, good seal block up in the center of that line that uh, gave him the hole to run through. And that was by Shelly Smith, who's a junior out of Phoenix, Arizona. Well, these two running backs between Gartrell Johnson and Kyle Bell, there are a couple of bowling balls out there. First down and 10 for the 31. Now multiple shift. There are four players shifting. Go to four receivers right, zero to the left. Ball left hash mark, hand off to Johnson. This time he's swallowed up. You know that line keeps the legs turning, breaks a tackle, and ends up picking up yardage from the 31 out to the 34-yard line. So a gain of three yards before he was eventually brought down by the Buffalo's Maurice Lucas, who is hoping to have a big year in his final campaign. The senior from Rangeview High School here in the metro area, 6'4". He's up to 270 pounds. And the first time in a couple of years, he's got healthy knees. He's had a great camp so far. Second down at seven now for Colorado State. Nearing the three minute mark of the opening quarter scoreless from the 34 yard line marching from left to right ball inside the right hash mark Morton in motion from right to left Johnson alone setback Ferris turns hands off to Johnson rather slow developing play off the left side Buffs good speed on defense Johnson out across the 35 to the 36 gain of two yards a host of Buffs led by Brand Jones there on the tackle that brings up third down we'll call it about five yards to go now for Colorado State. You, you talk about Mo Lucas in the, the year that he's had. He's out of uh, Denver, Denver Rangeview, and there's been a battle going over on that right side, and Jason Brace and Marquez Harad, uh, and uh, right now they have really good depth at those ends because Conrad Obi is backing up Lucas. Third down and five for the 36-yard line. Scoreless here in the first quarter. Empty backfield out of the shotgun. Ferris, slot right, slot left. Waist high snap, Cena retreats, receiver screen, right side, Greer makes the grab, and Chappelle Brown was right there. He read the screen off the right-hand side and just slipped around it, brought Greer down as soon as he caught the ball, a loss of a yard on that screen play, and that brings up fourth down with about six yards to go with a punting unit out for Colorado State. And I'll go back to what I said before, that inexperienced but not necessarily no talent at those cornerbacks. Anthony Hartz, the junior college transfer from Santa Barbara Community College, have to punt this one away. Josh Smith back to return at the 25-yard line. He fumbled the last time he returned. When he has the ball, he is lighting high snap, hauled in by Hartz. He rushed it. There is a flag down. 
over Smith's head, takes it off the bounce of the 10, running to his right, trying to turn the corner, grab from behind and hold down and making a beautiful play there was Clint Kubiak, the Regis High School product who missed all of last year because of injuries. A 55-yard punt ends up being no return for Josh Smith, but there is a flag. We'll against get, CSU. We'll get the call from John Bible. Illegal procedure against CSU. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Colorado State will re-kick with a five-yard penalty. Fourth down. All right, so the Buffs get a break there. So far, the punt return has not been terribly impressive the two times it's been out there. Hey, do you need to buy or sell tickets to the hottest Colorado events? Go to SeedExchange.com. Tough tickets made easy. SeedExchange.com, official sponsor of the Colorado Buffaloes. You know, you meant, uh, mentioned Clint Kubiak. Uh, he got a medical red shirt because they were going down to play the University of Houston and that was going to be a big weekend with his dad who coaches the Houston Texans and remember he was warming up before the game and they had to take him to the hospital and they found his blood pressure to be really low and he's suffering from a bleeding also. Yeah, that's right he had all kinds of problems yeah, last year. So the rest of the year. He's just glad to be back out there. Smith again as Hartz takes it nearly bobbled the snap another Laser punt taken at the 27 yard line by Smith has a seam straight up the middle breaks one tackle stop and go at the 40 out to the 42 yard line and he is hauled down there so that time a nice return not a great punt by Anthony Hartz eventually brought down by Jake Galusha for Colorado State 106 to play in quarter number one Buffaloes take over with good field position up near midfield first down to 10 from the 42 yard line moving right to left here at Invesco Field a mile high. Great to have you along in this opening Sunday for the Colorado Buffaloes. By the way Sunday has always been a good day for the Buffs to open. They in 1990 opened with a tie to Tennessee in uh, 2001 they opened. And the loss to President State. State. And but the reason I say it's good they won the championship in 90 and nearly played for the title in 2001. So has been a good start but a good season inside hand up to Semler finds a hole as he feels his way along the line hit at the 45 and then driven back as he ran off the left side and so being a gain of three yards Tommy Hill the outstanding defensive end for Colorado State is there in the tackle for the Rams Mark uh, on that uh, procedure call against Colorado State it might have only will go in the record book as a five yard penalty but it cost him 36 yards that's right because uh, the Buffs have been down at the 10. Second down at seven from their own 45 yard line out of the shotgun center of the field Cody Hawkins awaits a snap takes the inside handoff boots to the right throws it out there Scotty McKnight first down catch of the 47 hit on the sideline and driven out of bounds at the 45 yard line a gain of 10 yards Nick Oppenier the junior from Littleton makes a stop for Colorado States and his bus offense seems to be kind of rounding in a form there Larry Zimmer. Well. I, they've been really really conservative they run some of the couple of the reverses but uh, they really haven't opened it up and I that maybe that will be the uh, the signal to start uh, doing some of those rollouts first down and 10 for the 44 yard line shotgun snap to Hawkins fix the inside handoff looks to his left delivers to his left catches made out there at the 32 yard line Scotty McKnight once again there the coverage was Brandon Owens the redshirt freshman junior college transfer to Bakersfield California and that's another first down a gain of 13 yards I think Scotty's going to have a year he was a leading receiver a year ago 43 catches for 488 yards and four touchdowns and all of that as a redshirt freshman. He's got that year under his belt. He has had that chance to work with Cody Hawkins. They worked all summer. So uh, I look for Scotty to have a pretty good uh, pretty good year. Zim we should mention that Daryl Scott has been in the last two plays. Now obviously he has not gotten the ball but they've given him an opportunity to be out there and take some action on the field. First quarter comes to an end Colorado. Marching on offense, first down at 10 for the Rams, 31. Scoreless ball game after one quarter. Buffs continue with the football when we come back here on the Colorado Football Network. Buffs with the football. Fresh 15 of the clock to start quarter number two. First down at 10 now from the CSU 31 yard line. Colorado now moving left to right. Ball left hash mark. Hawkins out of the shotgun. Look to his right. Flanking him is Daryl Scott. We'll see if he gets a carry here pretty soon. Inside hand up to Scott. Stop it goes. Slips, lost his footing, runs up the right side, and he bulls his way down inside the 27 yard line to about the 26. So a gain of five yards on the first carry by the nation's highest regarded high school running back from a year ago. The freshman, he comes to Colorado from Ventura, California, played for St. Bonaventure a year ago, rushed for 2,400 yards and 33 touchdowns, which pales in comparison to his junior year when he had 45 touchdowns, playing for more park. Second down and four from the 25 out of the shotgun. 
Play action. Hawkins sets up the throw. Has time now. Rears back. Rifles at left sideline. Intended for Josh Smith. Incomplete coverage out there by Kubiak. There's a flag in the play as Hawkins got hammered. He's like going to the football. Offense number 73. That's a 10-yard penalty. Second down. That goes against sophomore Ryan Miller, the right tackle out of Columbine High School here in the metro area. That is now penalty number two against the Buffaloes. Boy, that play opened up quickly had uh, Cody been able to throw the ball when he wanted to. But as you said, uh, he had some pressure on him, and Miller wasn't going to let him get hit. That's, That's why like he that. got that penalty. That's like that penalty number three, actually, have had the, a hold and a full start as this one moves all the way back now out to the 36-yard line. So third down and 15. Ends up being just over a 10-yard penalty from the spot. Shotgun snap to Hawkins. Sets to throw. Rifles it down to Steam. Scotty McKnight. 10. 5. Touchdown. Touchdown. Colorado. 14-15 to play in the first half. And the Buffaloes strike first here at Invesco Field at mile high. Boy, that was beautiful. That was just a post route run by Scotty McKnight. He just split, split that defense out there. It was all along. And uh, Cody put it right on the mark, got it at about the six-yard line, and went into the end zone. 36-yard touchdown play. Harinick had a shot. Pagnata had a shot. Kubiak had a shot. And Scotty McKnight took it straight to the house. 6-0 Colorado. Out now is Goodman for the extra point. Kick is up. It's on its way. And it is good. 7-0. Buffaloes leading the Colorado State Rams here in the Quest Rocky Mountain Showdown. 14-15 to play in the first half. Buffs have the touchdown lead. Timeout now on the Colorado Football Network. Hozier and Meyer back. Jamison Davis to kick it away, taking his Myers to the goal line. This is his first return, 5-10. Stutter step with the 15, hit it to 15. Momentum takes him out to about the 17, almost 18-yard line. Let's call it a 17-yard return. Travis Sanderfeld is there on the uh, special teams tackle. And, Jim, he's one of those freshmen out there, redshirt fr freshmen out of Lyman, Colorado. Six foot, 200 pounds, going to see plenty of action this season. Offside, kicking team number 54 will re-kick with a five-yard penalty. That's Marcus Burton with the penalty out there. That is penalty number four against the Buffaloes already. 11.44 to play, second quarter, 14 up in Colorado. And Bank of the West, they've been dedicated to your financial success from the start. So put 130 years of experience to work for you. Stop by a branch or visit bankofthewest.com. Bank of the West, proud sponsor of CU Athletics. You know, we don't, it's, it's a little difficult to do to pick out all the players that play on those special teams. But how important is that kickoff team? And you just mentioned Sanders Feld, uh, Kevin Moyd, who... You know, we, we probably will see it running back, but he's been a special teams guy for the last two years. Some of these guys have really contribute by going out there and sacrificing to play on those special teams. Well, you want your best athletes out there. Marcus Burton, as we mentioned, he made that tackle. He's certainly a good one. Jamison Davis uh, has this one teed up with the 25 as he has to re-kick, puts the foot to it. This one's high and end of a end. Mosier again back. This time he takes it at the 2. Has blockers 10 to his right at the 15. Has a... Uh, Wall ahead of him across the 20 out to about the 23 yard line. Make it a 22 yard return. Anthony Wright is uh, there on the tackle. So off the re kick, they get about the penalties difference in the distance there. About five yards they pick up, five or six yards on the second return. You know, we're mentioning mistakes. Remember the mistake on their punt where Colorado was back at the 10 yard line and, and uh, had to re punt it. And they got it out of the uh, 36 yard, or 41 yard line. That's right. And out right, here come the Rams once again. Back to the eye, the tail of the tandem is Garchell Johnson. First down at 10 for the 23. Ferris under center. Drop play, hands out to Johnson. Big hole off the left side, running 25 yard line. Hit the 27, and he drags the defender across the 30 out to the 34 yard line. What a run by Gartrell Johnson, the junior. Picks up 11 yards in that carry. I beg your pardon, he's a senior out of Bobby Springs, Florida. Zim, he had a whale of a season. Remember last year, as, by the way, Brad Jones made that tackle. It was Kyle Bell in the opener, but right. Johnson kind of took over about five or six games in and really became a rushing uh, force for the Rams. He ended up with 957 yards right. a year ago. He had uh, ended up with more, about 300 more yards than uh, Bell did. First down and 10 for the 34-yard line. Ball left hash mark. Rams moving from right to left. Sperry shifts now tight left. Johnson again, the tailback. Ferris hands off to Johnson. Right side, bends it around the end. Gets by the Ryan Walters, running across the 45-50. DJ Dykes is there and runs him on a bounce on the far side. But Walters, who has had a big game so far, whiffs 
coming up from his safety position on that defensive left side and Johnson made him pay. He has a big double digit pickup for the Rams of 35 yards. Well, this is a big drive for Colorado State and uh, they've done it on two plays by Cartrell Johnson and I don't know whether they had switched their strategy or what and decided we are going to run this football which we expected him to do but uh, they've been successful with those two plays by the big running back. So now about 60 yards rushing or so in this game by the Rams first down at 10 that will up 42 shotgun snap to Ferris has time hit from behind grab around the ankles and he is hauled down up high was Brandon Nicholas down low.